No justice or vindication for the family of Anna Parani Jenkins, also known as Anna. All along they suspected their mother was murdered by someone unknown. But the finding from the coronial inquest fell short of that. We've been dragged through the mud for the last year and a half and for her to come in um, and, you know, give us three minutes um, to end with an open verdict is absolutely disgusting. It is so disappointing and there is absolutely no justice in Malaysia for mum or anyone, as, as it seems. After what the family has gone through, that this is a bloody disgrace. The son of Anna Jenkins says the police investigation was deeply flawed, claiming many gaps and leads were not followed. Malaysia-born Anna vanished in 2017 on her way to visit her ailing mother in Penang. These are the last known images of her taken by a security camera outside her hotel on the day she went missing. She took an Uber car to visit her mother's aged care home, but never arrived. After three years and multiple trips to Malaysia in search of his mother, Greg Jenkins was sent an anonymous tip-off with photos of some of his mother's possessions found at a Penang building site not far from where she was supposedly dropped off by the Uber. When he visited the site, he also found remains, which proved with DNA testing to be his mother's. The family was shocked when Malaysian police alleged during the inquest that Anna Jenkins may have been involved in the drugs trade or chose to disappear, claims the family rejected as nonsense. The way that the open verdict is, um, is done means the investigation's over. So the coroner couldn't make a decision on cause of, cause of death, couldn't rule out anything either, um, but didn't rule for a, um, a re-investigation, which is what we were hoping. We're very saddened uh, for Greg and the family in this uh, decision. Um, they've not been able to get those answers. The family are now considering their next steps and have flagged possible legal action against Malaysian police or other authorities. Anne Barker, ABC News.